Hello, people of God. Welcome to my page. This is Prophetess Mistake Shapu. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. Like, comment, share. I would love to hear your experience with the Lord as well. Today, we're going to be talking about kingdom, uh, God ordained marriages, God ordained mates coming into your lives. God ordained male, God ordained females coming into your life. I, I hear this in the spirit. And before we start, I would love to pray over this word. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless this word. Let the words that come out of my mouth be not of me, but of the Holy Spirit. Father God, have your way in this place. Let your Holy Spirit come down. Let your Holy Spirit take over, Father God. Not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, Father God. Father God, I ask that you protect this word and bless this word that your children are able to receive this word in jesus mighty name amen okay so i am reading out of genesis chapter 2 verse 19 the word of god said now the lord god had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky he brought them to the man to see what he would name them and whatever the man called each living creature that was his name so the man gave name to all the livestock, all the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's rib and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Hallelujah, people. So the Lord is saying that he is sending your God-ordained wife or your God-ordained husband into your life. But Satan is also sending um, a false mate into your life as well. And it's going to be quick. It's going to be fast. So people of God, you need to have discernment. You need to use your wisdom that God gave you, that you have been learning, that you have been training. You need to use this, and you need to be in prayer about this, um, people of God. People of God, the Lord is saying, be gentle as a dove, but wise as a serpent, people of God. Obedience, people of God. You worked too hard, you came too far to fall, to let Satan win. It is a demon that is that Satan is sending okay remember Satan does not rest but he is not more powerful than our God amen so um, God is sending your God ordained husband your God ordained wife into your life to continue to help you continue on your journey now how would you know if this mate is from the Lord okay because this person is going to compliment you this person you guys are going to support each other. You guys are going to fill in what the other is missing. Y'all going to mesh. Y'all, the Bible says to be equally yoked together. This is how you're going to know. The opposite will be no peace, stress. He's This person is going in one direction. The other person is going in the other direction. This person does not support the God that you support. You understand? This person doesn't. This person is going to pull you away from God instead of pushing you to God. Okay, people of God, so I just wanted to um, let you guys know the Lord, the Lord gave me this message as well with um, the prophetic word for May, but I, I didn't catch the full revelation, so I didn't add it in this video, so I had to wait on God to give me the full revelation before I, you know, release this word to you guys, but the Lord definitely confirmed it, confirmed that um, he, he will be sending um, God ordained husbands and God ordained wives. Just um, pray for your spouse, even if that person is not there. Even if you're not sure who that person is, pray for that person. Keep that person in prayer. Be, and, it, you know, still worry about you, still focus on God, but still pray every day for your mate. You know, rebuke any hindrance, rebuke any delay. Pray for your partner. In Jesus' mighty name. I love you, people of God, and I pray that this blesses you. Thank you.